Welcome to another eMediaCoach.com tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to outline the main differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Now, the differences are quite major, and it really depends. The one you select really depends on what you're trying to achieve. So let's just go through this list here. WordPress.com, focus on your content, and WordPress.com will handle the rest. Basically, what it is, it's a ready-made platform. You need to sign up and select a subdomain and put your content up. However, WordPress.org requires you to have your own hosting account and you'll be hosting your website yourself. Now, this may sound more complicated, but it's really not. You'll see in our other video how to make a business website. But what this essentially means is that if you're hosting WordPress on your own server, which you are with WordPress.org, that means you have absolute control over anything and everything. So your website will look like this. You can have your own .com domain name. That is your own address on the internet. However, if you use WordPress.com and sign up as a member, your website URL will look something like this. It is just a subdomain of the WordPress site. And because it's not hosted on your own server, it just means that you do not have much flexibility or room to move. And plus, as a business, it's really not ideal to have a URL looking like this. Much rather you have a URL that looks like this. This really isn't complicated. If you want a complete tutorial to setting up this website, please watch our step-by-step -step video on making a business website. However, this is one of the key differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Now, just running through this list, like I said, you'll need to find your own host. It's literally $5 a month. It's not a big deal. Um, WordPress.com, you can choose from hundreds of beautiful themes. Theme is just the look of your website. Um, and these are basically a gallery of themes or designs that you can choose from. It is the same for WordPress.org, except you can install custom themes and build your own and edit your own themes from the dashboard. So it's highly customizable. In both WordPress.com and WordPress.org, you can integrate your social media. WordPress.com, one of the other major drawbacks is that you cannot install plugins. Now, what a plugin is, it's a basically an add-on to allow you to imp improve or extend your site's functionality. For example, if you look at our site here and see this top uh, slider image, this is actually a plugin that has been added to our installation to allow for this to occur. Now, you can't do this with WordPress.com. Other add-ons or plugins include contact forms, image galleries, video galleries, and all kinds of things that can have a huge impact on how your site actually turns out. Back on this page, um, for WordPress.com, you must register for an account at WordPress.com. And for WordPress.org, that's not required. You basically own your own installation. And having said that, WordPress.org is the best way to build a business website. I mean, there is no better way. WordPress.com is more for people that want to just put up a blog or just general things, general content to pass time. But if you're serious about your website, you need to host your own installation of WordPress on your own server. That way you have full um, control over your website and limitless possibilities with what you're able to achieve or what you're able to add or display on your site and you're not restricted in any way whatsoever. I hope that's been useful for you. Um, if you require any more information or if you have questions please leave a comment below and we'll be happy to answer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video because we rely on word of mouth. Thanks for watching.